First and foremost, uh, not just in, in ballet and in dance, but in life, representation matters. Being able to see oneself and other, others who have similar life experiences uh, creates a sense of community. It eventually can evolve to institutions. And those things have actual and, and, and political power in the world. And the absence of representation, uh, misunderstandings, uninformed stereotypes are developed. And then those, those behaviors become understood and concrete in their own kind of institutions. We should work to create these representations in every space we visit, whether they be, you know, common spaces, political spaces, uh, entertaining spaces, you know, where our bodies are normative and the types of, of roles we can metaphorically play in life are varied, you know, and our, the expectations on our bodies are as varied as you might put on any, any you know, um, any white person's body in America. Working with Gabby, uh, <laughs> it was it was it was an energetic punch that I hope is reflected in in some of the things that I've been thinking about with in terms of my work with her. When I was when I was watching her, you know, dance and move and warm up, uh, there was there was a, a, a jabbiness. To, to her to her movements, to her work. You know, I would almost think about it like a refined crunk, almost. There were a lot of strong movements, a lot of kind of powerful upper body displays, as well as you know, lower body kind of strength and, and the leaps and the bounds. It was refined, it was, it was very sharp, it was very strong, but it had, had this kind of, this kind of um, reverent beat to it that really felt youthful. And I might be putting a lot on that, but I, I did feel like 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 there was something there was something around that that was happening, and I and I felt that coming out in her in her choreography. 